Why? Why didn't we think about this? Why? Why didn't we think about this? Why the hell didn't we not think about this in the first place? Oh my god! Hey guys, Reckless Fox here, and tonight's vlog is a very special one because this this week, um, an animator known as Stephen Byrne had made a 39 second animated teaser trailer to one of the greatest sci-fi television shows of all time that ended abruptly. It was canceled after 13 episodes. I am talking about Joss Sweeten's cult classic science fiction show, Firefly. Like a leaf in the wind. For those of y'all who don't know about Firefly, Firefly was a science fiction cowboy, space cowboy show. Let's just point it out like that. It followed um, Malcolm Reynolds and his crew. Malcolm Reynolds being played by the very famous Nathan Fillion. And his crew, um, his crew of, well, misfits. Uh, that being Gina Torres, uh, Alan Tudyk, Adam Baldwin, Jewel State, Summer Glass, Sean Mayer, and Ron Glass. It followed their entire crew as they were, um, you know, collecting money and running away from the Alliance. I won't go into any detail about the show because the show only lasted 13 episodes due to conflict between the studio, Fox, and the show due to the fact that the show's episodes were being aired out of order and it was on a Friday night time slot, which, in case you guys don't know much about television shows, if your show ends up on a Friday night, there's a 50-50 chance that it's probably going to get capped quickly. <laughs> Anyways, um, the show, again, got cancelled. And, however, it spawned a big cult following. It was a cult phenomenon in the making. So much so that two years later, Josh Sweeten, the same guy who gave us Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, Dollhouse, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and of course, Avengers and Avengers 2 Age of Ultron, was like, nah, I'm going to give you guys closure. You guys will get closure. And he made Serenity. Serenity takes place a few months after the events of Firefly. In which you find out more about what happened to River Tam, Summer Glau's character. Uh, with the experiments that they, uh, the Alliance did on her. And the catalyst of how they created the Reavers. The Reavers were basically cannibals who would eat you and kill you and not at the same time. They tend to aim to misbehave. And the movie was a box office hit. It, fans love the movie. It, they love how it ended the show. Oh, and a few, maybe one or two characters hit the can. And in the end, they... um expose the Alliance for the coal bastards that they are, sent that shit to the servers around the galaxy, and now the Alliance was pretty much going down. And everyone lived happily ever after, well, except a couple of characters. Won't, I won't tell you what happens, but... Yeah. Like a leaf in the wind, right? <laughs> Anyways... Um, however, the series itself didn't actually end. It continued through comic books. It's actually specifically Dark Horse Comics. They continued with Serenity, Leaves in the Wind, in which it follows the characters three months after the events of the movie, and you find out the backlash that happened between the Alliance and them being exposed, and now the government is trying to figure out what the hell they were doing, and so forth and so forth. That's not the... But I digress. The reason why I am making this video is because Stephen Byrne made a 30-second animated teaser of Firefly, which showed off a lot of this beautiful animation that he did. Like I highly com commend this man for what he he did in pretty much making my favorite show of all time come back to life in animated form. And I, you were either on the fence of, oh, what's this show about? 
how is this going to work? What's so important about it? It looks great, but what's it about? That was A. That That's subject A. Subject B. It's a lot. <laughs> Jesus, yes! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you! You brought my baby home! Thank you, Jesus! That's subject B. I actually tend to side with subject B, but that's a, that's, a diff that's a story for another time. Now, where does this go from here? That's the question. Pe now, people are actually um, speculating whether or not this could be a brand new Firefly, whether it's just a rehash of the first season, a rehash of the movie, or the comic books, or, and I am only using this as an example, and I will get, we'll get to that part later. They're going to do season two of Firefly. Now, how are they going to do it? That's, that's the biggest question. If they, if they were going to make a season two of Firefly, now, one of the big reasons why Firefly never got a season two, other than the fact that, well, Fox doesn't know good stuff, and that's why, you know, a lot of good shows on Fox got canceled, so, uh, excluding Firefly, like Raising Hope, and Good Guys, and Almost Human, and The Following, and then renewing, you know, crap shows like <coughs> New Girl, and Gotham. Um, one of the big reasons why is because well, Josh Sweeney was never on board, uh, never really wanted to do a season two. I mean, this man just finished Age of Ultron, and this movie burnt him out so much that at this point he's on a hiatus. That's number. That's issue number one. Issue number two. Well, the actors and actresses of the original show have gone on to do m more things with their careers. Um, Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk. Uh, have teamed up and they're working on a sh um, their show Con Man, which got renewed for a season two on Vimeo. Sean, both Sean Mayer and Marina Bachran uh, are currently doing voice acting for the DC animated movies, i.e., Sons of Bat, uh, Son of Batman, Batman Bad Blood, Batman vs. Robin, and Justice League vs. Teen Titans. Sean Mayer portraying Nightwing and Marina Bachran portraying Talia Al Ghul. Speaking of Marina Bachran, she was also in season one of Gotham, and then finally the movie that came out this year, Deadpool, starring Ryan Reynolds. Jewel State and Summer Glau have been busy. Uh, Jewel State recently was in an episode of Legends of Tomorrow, and she was mm -hmm. in a TV film. Uh, Summer Glau was recently in season two of Arrow, and she was on an episode of Castle with Nathan Fillion. Uh, Gina Torres currently is on the USA show Suits, and if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend it. Adam Baldwin, well, he is, you know, giving conservatives and liberals, you know, a run for their money and just smacking them around on his Twitter account. And Ron Glass, well, nothing much about Ron Glass. I think the dude retired. The last thing he was in, I think, was Lakeview Terrace with Sam Jackson. <laughs> So you know he's resting comfortably right now, but other, but the the whole thing is the fact that these ca these actors and actresses are in their mid thirties now or early forties or late forties, and no one wants to see them on a show. Don't be wrong, I would love to see all my favorite characters back on one screen, but it 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 just won't feel the same. They're not they're not young anymore. But what they could do is have them do voice acting for their act, their characters who they played on the show. Also, and I really hope Josh Sweeten is watching this when I when I give him this advice. So, peep game, Josh Sweeten, I love you, bro. Okay, I would love I would have loved to giving you a hug at Comic Con this year for for Age Ultron. No matter how much crap you got for that movie. I still commend you, bro. I commend the hell out of you. You, 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 pull, you tried your very best, and in the end, the movie was still good. Okay, I enjoyed it. I would have loved to hug you, but Pete Game Joss, and I want you to listen, and I want you to watch this. Okay, I don't know how you have to get fire, the Firefly license back because Fox ain't doing a damn thing with it right now, as you can see. You got team up with Steve Byrne. 
And you have to make Firefly Season 2 in animated form. Steve Byrne, if you... Animation captures Firefly. The concept of Firefly. Whether it was live action or in cartoon form. It captures Firefly. It captures the universe. That's num- and that's what you that's what you need to do. Now that's number one. Number two. Getting exclusive on Netflix. Netflix loves to resurrect shows and just do what they want with them. I mean, Trailer Park Boys has got two more seasons. It's about to go on its third season on Netflix. I'm telling you, if you put season two Firefly in anime form, if you put that on Netflix. Nerds will sell their souls to Netflix in order to watch Firefly Season 2. It will destroy the Netflix servers. You you want to see, like, a internet traffic? Season 2 of Firefly were to happen in animated form. Netflix's servers will be down almost all day long. Nerds would continuously gang bang those servers to get to season two of Firefly. Nerds and fans of Firefly would run a train on Netflix to get to Firefly. And it will sell like hot cakes. You you talking about being the number one show on Netflix. I'm and you're talking awards for best animated show. You're talking about being the number one show on Netflix, dethroning House of Cards, and Orange is New Black, and Daredevil, and Jessica Jones, Fuller House, whatever show that you like on Netflix, that's exclusive on Netflix, Firefly would just take it out, okay? You have to get an exclusive deal if if you're going to do this. Now, again, this is just hypotheticals, okay? If this were to happen, guys, I'm telling you, a revolution would begin, okay? Because Firefly has become the Brooklyn Dodgers of nerd culture. And what I mean by that is this. people, People's great-great-grandkids are still mad that the Dodgers left Brooklyn to L.A. And I guarantee you, 10 years from now, your kids, my kids, if I show them Firefly, they will be mad that... Firefly got canceled after 13 episodes. We'll leave it off right there. If you guys have not watched Firefly, it is currently on Netflix. All 13 episodes are currently available to stream, as well as the 2005 um, follow-up Serenity. You can grab um, Firefly uh, Leaves in the Wind at your local comic book stores. It has all the every single all six issues in it so you can finish reading it in like what a day or so if you guys are fans of firefly and you want to know more about this and if you have not seen the animated teaser uh trailer link will be in the description box below and leave a comment share your uh, memories of firefly if you enjoyed this video and you join my uh tangents and ranting about fox hit it with a thumbs up if you didn't like the show and if you don't like this video go ahead and hit it with a thumbs down i really don't care i just really wanted to talk about this because it le- it left me in such a state of happiness that i couldn't even fathom it i mean for, he- for christ's sakes i pulled this out i have not watched firefly in a while i actually might go watch it right now <laughs> so if y'all excuse me this is reckless fox here peace out and like a leaf in the wind watch me soar